Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. Prosecutors knew it would be tough to convict that former Raines County Sheriff's deputy of shooting a farmer's dog. So in court today, they dropped animal cruelty charges against Jarrett Dooley. But in exchange, he had to turn in his law enforcement license. Bill Alvarado joins us with reaction from Dooley and the dog owner you will see only on Fox 4. Clarice Jared Dooley won in court today, but it came at a cost, and now the lives of two families have been changed forever. After Candy died, Cole Middleton got a new Australian blue healer named Dottie. Come here. And as for former Raines County Deputy Jared Dooley, he will never wear a badge and uniform again. And I went from one day everybody patting me on the back thanking me for, you know, getting drugs off the street, telling me that they hadn't had a deputy there in, in so long that we get out and, and work the way I did. And then uh, it was just like a, a switch flipped and they just wanted to be rid of me. The lives of Dooley and Middleton collided April 18th after Dooley responded to a burglary call at Middleton's home. The dash cam shows Middleton's cattle dog Candy in the back of his pickup. Dooley said Candy charged him and he shot her. Candy died. I know that those actions that I took also caused Mr. Milton pain. I won't deny that for a second. Just because you're a peace officer doesn't give you the right to, uh, to shoot somebody's dog in a manner that's unnecessary. Dooley was indicted on animal cruelty charges. In court today, the charges were dropped. In exchange, Dooley gave up his peace officer's license. I don't believe I can put the badge and uniform back on and, and go out there and, and fight for something that I really wholeheartedly don't believe in at this time. That's, that's just, that's the way I feel after the way that, that I was done throughout this process. Cole Middleton was in the courtroom. It gives me a sense of justice and it lets me rest easier at nighttime, it will, that he won't be able to do that to somebody else again and cause them the type of hurt he's caused me and my family. Once Dooley was done in court, his attorney Pete Schulte says something very odd happened. Someone pushed and punched Dooley in the back. Schulte says Dooley had dealt with that man during a previous arrest when he was a deputy. This particular defendant is already here on an assault of a public servant. He was present for the court proceedings. I think he realized who Jared was, because Jared had dealt with him, we found out later, on a previous arrest transaction. For Dooley, it confirms his decision to walk away from law enforcement. I don't want anybody thinking I'm some kind of monster because it's not me at all. I heard over shooting that dog. I honestly heard over shooting that dog. Change takes place with steps. And I hope and pray that this is a step along the path of change. Now, Dooley did not file charges against the man who punched him, and he says to this day he still gets death threats. Cole Middleton is working on Candy's Law, legislation that will require peace officers to get more training on how to deal with dogs. Clarice? Bill, thank you.